Morning folks. Right away we had to run to Uncle Jeff's. We're getting low on silage here so we're hauling dump truck loads at a time over so we can feed. Today we're going to do a little bit more of the same. We're going to grab a pole, cement it in, and get ready for the next gate project. We also have one ready, one already cemented in, one gate built, and we'll be welding that on later today. So let's get going here, get moving. It's getting up to 91 today. It's only about 65, so we're going to try to get work done before it gets hot. So we're in our north feed lot and we're redoing this gate for a couple reasons. Number one is obviously it's not hinged. It used to be. This is one of those cheap gates with one of these crappy hinges and that just doesn't work. It falls off and anyway, it needs gone. And then also this gate is located so far south that when we drive out of here and we got to get wide because we got big equipment. We're running over or almost running over the corner of this concrete. You're either going to break that corner off or you're going to puncture a tire or rip up a sidewall. So we're taking this out. We're going to move the gate further this way. It's going to end up starting right here and going to about there. And then we'll just fill that in with some continuous fence. We got the temporary panel set up. We're ready to go. As you can see, it's moist. Last video I was saying... We had a chance for a half inch to an inch, and we got right at an inch. Look at that puddle right there. I got some video of it running. In a previous video, we had someone trench a new water line over there so we could water some cows. That water was just running into this trench and just disappearing into the earth. It has been so dry, we're finally getting some rains. Last week we got almost two inches. We got a lot of corn that's still looking short, but we have a lot that is getting to five, six foot. Folks, we're gonna have silage. As long as we don't get a big wind or a, or a nasty hail, we're gonna have silage, we're gonna have feed for the cattle. Thank you for all the prayers, we've been getting rain. And then this week again, we have a chance for rain. We'll see what happens, but you know, so much stress has been relieved and we're feeling good. We're excited about rain. Pastures are greening back up. Let's do some demolition, rip some stuff out, cement a pole, and do some welding. In case someone asks why I dug a hole, there was already a hole there. It was really to make it wider. You want that concrete to be big, have a lot of surface area, a lot of earth to push on so that post stays stable. I'm gonna take this off, start hauling some bags of concrete, get my post over here and we'll cement this post in. I don't know if I want to answer.
answer that one. Or should we? Let's do it. Hello? This is going to be the last one of these we do for a couple weeks. I'm actually getting low on metal. And uh, I'm sure you're getting sick of these projects. So we're going to switch it up. Start back up in August, which I guess isn't too far away. I just got two more I want to do probably. You'd be surprised at how well this thing mixes when all you do is lean it back and forth, but it is uniform. I'm pretty impressed with this steel mixer. Last time I called it a steely, I have since learned that it's pronounced steel. And I'm sure my brother's wanting to borrow it again because he's got more projects to do. And This is the last bag. We'll chuck it in and then uh, let this set up for a while. Later we'll come back, weld those on. But we also got to weld a gate on over there and remove the temporary fencing I set up. Going well, heating up, it's humid. Alright, we're going to suffer through this. It's getting warm. We're going to build one gate, the least favorite part. I like welding it on, that's what I enjoy, but can't have one without the other. Clean this up, get a head start or do it all or some of it and get some lunch and you know the drill. I am just learning that this piece of metal I have that needs to be 15 feet long at least is, a, is barely 13 foot long. That ain't gonna work because I need a big gate hole. Hmm. Leaves me no choice but to get some lunch and think on it. Hey girls. So these cows are doing something that I've never seen before. Grazing this little three acre patch. Usually we have this almost completely full with hay, but we just haven't been able to make much hay this year. And so the handful of bales we would have put out here, I put somewhere else so I could open this gate, let the cows graze it instead. Lately we've been getting a lot of comments about ditches, ditch hay, can you graze it, can you bale it? Yes, we can, we can bale it. We do do it, <laughs> do do. We do it sometimes. When I get back to the farm, I'll tell you why we usually don't do it. So yes, we can put up ditches, road ditches. Dad has done it. He's made probably thousands of grass bales from the ditches in past years. And this is why we usually don't do it. Here's the cons. It's It can be dangerous because the you know ditches can be steep. You can roll a tractor. That would cost a lot of money and probably hurt. It's hard on equipment because ground is uneven. You might stick a tire in a culvert or something and puncture a tire or whatever. There's rocks in there sometimes which could cause a fire. Back to it being hard on equipment. You run into old fence lines that people didn't pull out all the way or the snow pushed in so far you can't really see it. There's sometimes weeds and it's just poor quality hay. Of course people love to throw trash in there and cows don't enjoy eating garbage takes extra time you know when we're in a normal hay field I'm going 12 mile an hour about 16 foot wide well when we're putting up road ditches you're going probably seven mile an hour if you're lucky seven foot wide and then you get to the pros and it's you get some hay now that's not a winning equation so why are we gonna do it this year well if we look right here 
This is how much hay we've put up this year. I think it's just over 100, just over 100 bales, like 120. And we need about 1,500 of them. So we need to do it. Got some fun conditions to mess in. Should have wore different boots. We got some wet sock going on now. Got some waterproof dry shods. That should maybe even keep me from getting electrocuted, huh? That's delightful. Got a bit of a crowd today. It's nice to have fans cheering you on. Hey, don't stare at it when I'm welding. It'll hurt your eyes. Got to put some goggles on or something. Okay. I never do a perfect job, but it sometimes looks all right. Right in there. You get what you pay for, Dad. Oh man, I guess they're disappointed in that weld. Everybody left me. I'm trying my best. When this dries up a bit, Dad and I will bring in some clay, build that up. Don't like that wet spot there. And that's definitely why the post that was there before leaned over. It gets wet there and just softens up the ground and then stuff moves. Dad just sent a message that they're in Yellowstone, about 808 miles away. 10 or 11 hour trip without stopping. They're going to spend a few more days out there. Uh, yeah, they're going to be out there another five days. So, sorry guys, you're stuck with me for a while longer. These work better with a battery. Looks nice and strong, stout. We'll be back, I don't know when. I gotta get some metal, I guess. I was two foot short. And honestly, if I would've been one foot short, I would've just built the gate. It would've been shorter than I would've wanted, but, but two foot too short, that's just, that's a no deal. Got the whole machine loaded up. We're gonna go to two pastures, check them out. Everything should be good. Make sure they got mineral. Give them some pellets, a little protein boost. Dart anything that looks sick. 
and then call it a deal. Big old bowl. Well, folks, that's a day. Got some welding done. Checked a couple pastures. Things are looking pretty decent. Got some nice beefy cat. Look how long that sucker is. Woo! He's got some stretch to him. We appreciate it. Love to see you next time. Have a good one. You must have got a little hot. Are you stuck? Are you hot? Are you stuck and hot? Ducking hot. Hey, don't get in there. Oh.